Okay, talking football now on the Sports Max Zone. And after a four month wait, the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Football Federation finally has a new president. This following Otashi Spring topping an unprecedented four other contenders to secure a four year term. Spring secured 19 votes. Best thing Wayne Grant, who had 15, Marvin Fraser with 12, outgoing president Carl Dixon with four, and Renton Haynes with two. First vice president goes the way of Dominic Stoll, while second vice president will be Josiah Descent, who tied on votes with Roxel John. However, John withdrew from the run-in. Third vice president will be Dwight Roberts, and the committee members will be Kolzak, Dwight Batiste, Yolan London, and Koyana Horn. But the man who will be leading these executives and federation on a whole joins us this afternoon. Otashi, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. So happy we could finally get this interview with you. Well, um, let me say uh, thank you for inviting me um, to your, your show. And let me say a pleasant evening as well to the viewers of Sport Max. Congratulations again. And of course, I'll start by asking you, how did you feel when you saw the results? The the mile that you won by? Well, um, um, to be honest, we have been doing a lot of a lot of work um, during the campaign, and we have been keeping touch with our polls and so forth. Um, and we knew exactly where we were, and we knew what we, what is it that we needed to do. Um, so I wasn't like too surprised uh, as to what the results um, were on the night. Um, it was just. We just have me and um, the fact that we were basically hoping to, to at least win by a much bigger margin because of the kind of a work that we would have done. Yeah, and what was the basis of your campaign? Because unfortunately, we didn't get to chat with you leading up to the elections. So I'd love to know, you know, what were you saying to the delegates? Well, um, I basically just um, presented um, our project, um, that being the progress we need. Um, it's a, it's a project that, in my view, would have assessed the current state of affairs of um, football in our country and would have offered the most ideal, um, comprehensive, uh, real, and affordable um, um, plans, policies, um, events, agenda, um, objectives, goals, I mean, to basically bring about the transformation and the changes that that we all know that we need here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Right. I'm where football is ever concerned. Yeah. I'm going to start to ask you to tell me a bit about those plans because you are the president now. It's no yes. more campaigning. It's down to work and, you know, it's business time. People, of course, expect you to deliver. What's some of the short-term projects that you're going to start working on or you have already started working on? Um, well, um, in terms of um, what we already started doing is... Um, we're basically uh, dealing with housekeeping work um, to the transition period, ensuring that every single thing in place for us to keep, um, well, to start running really. Um, but as it concerns our plans, um, we would have um, conceptualized every single thing um, within three strategic, well, five strategic pillars, that being uh, infrastructural development, uh, governance and foreign affairs development, we itemize or uh, segregate um, the Secretariat, Finance and Marketing Development, the clubs, leagues and referees association development, and we have the, the competitions and technical development. Every single thing that we have been, what that we are doing would basically um, derive from these pillars. Um, we, each pillars have their strategic objectives um, their strategic goals, their action plans, and we even have a uh, hundred days plan relating to every single one of those pillars, showing you clearly what is it that we're going to do, what we want to do, what we want to achieve, and um, it it was basically um, complemented now by how we expect to to afford those plans that we are presenting. Yeah. And um, it, we capped it off with um, performance indicators, which is basically highlighting what are the returns we are going to expect from the investment of the funds that we are hoping to at least be, get access to 
um, to basically implement these plans. Yeah, well, so I think it would have been very something that is simple to follow. And um, I think that everybody understood that, you know, we were serious and that clearly um, we, 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 we are the ones who are most ready to, to take charge yeah, and one take of the, the, um, the forward. Yes, one, of, one of the things I always say is no organization can run without money. So where will the money come from? Well, um, most most developing countries, small developing countries, MAs, uh, ninety nine percent of your funds, unfortunately, comes from from the parent body, FIFA, um, Concacaf trips in, and um, then you have your local effort. Um, I could say for for our country, which is not really something that I'm I'm totally too comfortable with, and will be hoping to see how best I could really change it. Um, um, in that you you're overly dependent on what FIFA gives you for development. You know, um, everybody basically looking for for improvement. They want to see your ranking um, in in respectable um, at respectable levels. Uh, but it's 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 very difficult um, when you are competing against global partners and global opponents that have much bigger budgets than than, than you. Um, so it is important that you 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 have your budgetary control measures in to ensure that there's there's no wastage and that the funds are are invested in areas that are going to grind out that 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 progress that you're looking for. Yeah, Otashi, one of the significant stories in the build up to the election would have been that the president was being challenged by his vice president. You were the first vice president. But it didn't come totally as a surprise because you had taken a combative stance from several months before um, challenging the executive on their position on, on some of the issues. Um, can you just briefly outline to us um, why would you have, as a vice president, decided that you had had enough of the president and wanted to you know, go this on, on your own? Well, um, I I don't think that, to be honest, um, in the initial stages, is it had anything to do with uh, actually um, contesting um, as 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 president. It was never my intention, really. However, um, I, I I I took a, a position of um, of principle, um, basically where I would have been privy to information that, in my view. Um, would have been unprecedented, unprecedented from a moral standpoint. That was totally not necessary. And it it was very difficult to swallow, and I, I didn't expect it. And, and I think that that was um, maybe one of the saddest moments in my entire tenure. Being there for eight years, um, I've never experienced anything like that. Um, you know, you expect, um, well, it's politics, but we're human, so you, you expect to trust people. And you expect people to be honest with you. And, you know, it was just moments where I felt like I, I didn't have that. And, um, you know, um, and it, there were even instances when I had was to defend myself because to some in instances I I got directly involved. Um, it, 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 was, it wasn't it was um, the best moments um, to, to remember. Mm. Uh, to be more specific, uh, Atashi, you were a vice president to Vinal Coombs, who was president when he was sanctioned by FIFA and had to step down. Um, I gather that he has been behind your group and uh, gathering support for your group. His ban, of course, had been lifted, uh, and um, he's now clear to be a part of football administration, as far as I, I can gather. But can you talk to us um, quickly about the fact that at the time when he was sanctioned and you were in a position to take over, but you didn't feel at that time that you wanted the job, what has changed between now and then that makes you feel that you are ready now to take this job? Okay, um, well, let, let us take it back to that very first instant. Um, um, I, I'll, I'll say here that... You know, one of the things that I, I, I learned um, in, in, in public service and, and primarily um, in, in football, politics, and, and the development thereof is that it is important that you are 
more consumed with the responsibility and not so much the crown or the title. And there, there's a thin line, and you have to be careful with respect to that. Um, there, there, there are a lot of happenings um, during that encounter, during that period that I really don't want to um, recite or rehearse now because, you know, that time has gone and and um, it really serves little purpose at this juncture. But um, I, I think there and then um, it was a, a, a selfless view um, in that, you know, if you have to be serious about the responsibility, you have to be able to look beyond yourself and and work in the best interests of the 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 football federation as a whole because to me that is what is most important and um when you when you when you get to understand who you are responsible to and for or accountable to and for i mean it is important that you 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 resort to that degree of humbleness where you can easily look beyond yourself. And if you can do that, um, I think that maybe you 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 might be in the wrong place. And it speaks of of danger to um to any 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 administration. Um, I, I'll I'll put it in that way. Um, but with respect to that, um, from now, um, it's a total different situation. Um, as I said, um, I I never had the intention of um. I'm basically I'm running for president. Nonetheless, the team that I would have been working with, um, basically, I'm um, issued a, a tremendous vote of confidence that you know um, they wanted me to basically um, push forward and lead the charge. And on, on the back end of that, um, I think um, I my experience have grown um, in terms of the entire affairs of the federation. I mean, I've been there eight years. Um, and during that tenure, I mean, I've basically been able to man all the major, pro um, all the major, the major, uh, uh, what do you call that again? Uh, all the, 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 the major departments, let me put it that way, um, all the major portfolios, uh, that being the technical, uh, the tournaments, I have, a, I have got a stint there and, um, the finance, well, I would have been in charge of finance for the bulk of the period, which is uh, spans over about roughly five five years. Um, and there, um, I brought tremendous, um, um, well, I was basically moving on the objective of ensuring that at least the Federation have a, a, a viable and a stable um, financial infrastructure. And um, I think I would have achieved that to a particular degree. Um, well, to a great degree, let me put it like that way. And as 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 you might have heard, um, it's maybe one of the the brightest eras um, as it concerns our football, where the the, the financial um, affairs and the management thereof um, is of a concern. That you know we are, we are sunk in that area. Mm. Well, you're you're an accountant by profession, aren't you? So I, I guess from that standpoint, you bring some expertise there. Theon Gordon has been the technical director of St. Vincent and the Grenadines football now for over a year. Um, you have World Cup qualifiers coming up this summer and so on. Is it the plan that he retains his position? And uh, if not, what direction would you be going into? No, um, without a doubt. Um, and I would have expressed to him that much when I made, um, I made um, initial contact. Um, that you know he's my guy for 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 the task in leading technical department however um as i said um the we we we're ranking oriented in our objective and in that the project that i would have presented and we we are very much um performance based so i i i basically um i was real with him i believe that in football you really have to have honest conversations and and that you can't really go wrong with that um, so I, I would have expressed to him this much that, you know, um, well, you're my guy, why are you my guy? I mean, I think um, there are, are certain things that will not be the same. Um, I want results, and I want results. No, I, I only have um, 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 four years, and I'll, I'll say this. Um, one of the things that really struck me, um, and it never did before, and I guess maybe because now I was in the seat and in, in that in that chair basically charge making a charge for the presidency that i really get to sit down do serious analytical work and have a ensure that i have a crystal clear understanding as to where we are as to know 
where we got where we need to be. Um, and I I got to discover something that was very very sad. And um, I basically in my in my manifesto I I describe our current situation to be that of a functioning regression. And um, um, by that I mean our best ranking would have been um, in 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 twenty or seven where we were ranked seventy third. And um, you know we are sixteen years after, and there we are ranked 173rd. Uh, looking at in excess of $100 million worth of investment or spending between that period and 100 spaces down is what you get to. That, to that, show for it. That, that is a return. That is yeah. a return on that amount. Of, and that doesn't speak, it doesn't speak well. I mean, and it, it kind of hit me very hard, to be honest. And uh, that, I think, needs to stop, stop, um, immediately and um the only way in doing that is is making hard decisions being real and um being performance based i mean i had conversations with with the the administrative staff the persons were a little bit timid as to their job security and so forth and it's like i don't know where you really would have received that from but um i again i express same thing as i would have um i'm talked with um, um the technical director that you know, we are performance based, we're here for results. We have objectives to reach, we have goals to achieve, and we have targets to meet. And um, everybody gonna have to be up to it. Otherwise, we're gonna find people who can. Mm -hmm. And that is as straight as it is. Yeah. Uh, um, our project assess, um, at least over the next four years, roughly about $42 million worth of investment or worth of money is there to access to invest in developing the football. And I would like at the end of it, at least we have something to show for it. Yeah. You know, um, so it's it's totally tra transactional in the going forward. We want returns, we want progress. And um, I have a roadmap. <laughs> it's, it's not the gospel. Yes. Yeah. Well, Tasha Spring, new president of St. Vincent and the Grenadines Football Federation. Thanks for talking to us here on the Sports Max Zone. We'll be in touch for sure because we would like to see St. Vincent and the Grenadines football rise again as it had been in the decade of the, two, or the, decade of the 2000s. Uh, thanks for talking to us. All the best. We'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.